Welcome back to Movie Reviews, my movie lovers, and today we are doing Count of Monte Cristo. And this one is a good classic movie to me. Uh, we are going to go ahead and say the rating. It's a five. We love it. Yes, we will watch it constantly. Though, in all retrospects, yes, sometimes we will watch things over and over and over. But this also fits into if the mood is right, too. Because we don't watch it constantly, but it is a five because of how much we love the movie itself. There would have to be more days in the year. For us to be able to watch everything that's a five for us? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, well, we can go directly into spoilers. If you have never seen this movie, you are too young for here, for our channel. <laughs> because this, I think, is even older than us. No. No? When was this out? I don't remember. When you have to go through and see if you can find out where the material is. Let's see if you can, see you can find it first. You're gonna see this. She probably will. She has her phone. <laughs> I also have IMDB on my phone. What, is this like 1990 or something? It's got to at least be older than one of us. 2002. It's younger than us? Yes. Ouch, I just aged us. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've aged each other several times in our videos. If you can't tell, we're 90s. <laughs> Not going to give me exact dates. But no, um, funny story actually about this movie. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> um, until uh, I took French class in high school. During my uh, sophomore year. So her first experience with this was in French. <laughs> yes, my French teacher. I mean, I loved my French teacher. No doubts about that. But my French teacher was like, let's watch a movie, but you have to watch it in French. But don't worry, I'll put the English subtitles on. She doesn't like reading subtitles. <laughs> so when I came into this relationship, I had seen this. This was a movie I watched with my mom, which is really interesting because this is not like a movie that you need to watch with your parent. <laughs> but um, so I've watched it in English. No French. Thank you. I don't know how to speak any other language. Um, so when I brought it to the table, she's like, oh, yeah, I've seen this before. I'm like, OK, I think she had more of appreciation getting to watch it in English because she knew what was going on than when she was listening to it in French. <laughs> And I, I brought to the table a bunch of things that she didn't even know. At the at one of the scenes, one of the guys actually gets hurt because he actually gets stabbed. In real life. And um, he had to pretend to be dead during that scene, but in real life he was bleeding out. I felt so sorry when I heard that scene. It makes yeah. me appreciate it more. Yeah, that was Guy Pierce. I mean... Really yeah. good actor, but... Everybody who plays in this is awesome. And, of course, you get to see the younger... Oh, I don't want to butcher his name. I think it's Henry Cavill? Yeah, Henry Cavill. <laughs> yeah. He is younger Henry You get Cavill. to see him when he's younger, and he plays the son of... Spoiler. The good guy and the bad guy. <laughs> I mean, he's made to be think that... The bad guy is his dad, but in reality, the good guy is his dad. <laughs> yeah. So, for those that have never seen it, it's basically a guy is, um... Well, we can say it in the way, if it's like, uh, in the beginning, you're introduced to him, and they, uh, give a chess piece to each other. And it's two best friends. We're gonna say that in quotations, because in reality, one of them thinks that they're friends, the other one is just out for himself. And they're both on a ship. Yes. And their captain is... He's, dying. Yeah, dying. He has a brain fever. Yeah. So they... And this is taking place in French. In France. Not French. France. Well, they're on the ocean, and they're next to the isles that Napoleon was on when he was exiled. Yeah, and so... They had no idea what was going on. They get on there. They're almost killed. And before they leave... Napoleon gives... A, excuse me. Edmund. A letter um, to give to his friend. Which is the good guy. Edmund uh, is the good guy. Yes. I can't remember who plays him. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
what is, how do you say his last name? Jim something. Jim Caviezel? Yeah. I know he plays uh, later on in life as Jesus in Passion of Christ. Oh, and he also has Richard Harris, uh, Elvis Dumbledore from Harry Potter 1 and 2. Oh, he's the, he's the guy in the prison. Ha ha. <laughs> so, okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're giving you bits and pieces. If you're watching this, you're going to get spoilers no matter what. Go watch the whole movie to get every bit of detail, which you'll want to do if you like. This is also a, um, what do you call it? A, uh, it's not really fantasy. It's set in a certain time. It's a drama. It's a medieval drama. I, I'm going to say it. it's not quite medieval, but it's like at the latter end of medieval but time. Back to Napoleon. So Edmund gets a letter from Napoleon. He's supposed to deliver it to somebody. He has no idea who. He doesn't know what's in the letter. He's being, he's giving Napoleon the benefit of the doubt. And unfortunately, on their trip back... Oh, their captain died, by the way. On their trip back, um, the his friend read the letter. He didn't know this. No, no, that was before, because he got the letter while they were waiting for the captain. Well, whenever... He read the letter before they got back. Yeah. And um, during, when they get back, things happen. The person who's the director of the shipping company that they were working for literally says, Edwin is now captain. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. The person who was... St- first mate basically is pissed off uh the guy who supposedly is the best friend which i can't remember his name in the movie ferdinand ferdinand yeah hey he um he is after edmund's girl he's after edmund's he's not after edmund's job he's just after the girl No, he's after edmund's happiness yeah he's not really after his he doesn't want to be him but he doesn't want someone who's poorer than he is to be better than him and so and that comes in the the piece the the i think it's a king that they carry from a chess piece and they give it to each other as like who's king right now king for a day kind of thing king in the moment King, king of the moment yes that's exactly what they say and um when Fernand gives him that at that time he's like oh yeah congrats and of course Edmund is with the girl he loves they have fun <laughs> you don't see it <laughs> but yeah the guy this guy's pissed cuz he now is captain of a ship he can now be engaged to he can now get married to the woman he was supposed to cuz they were expecting to be waiting like two more years yeah but this just fast tracks everything so he goes to um basically the head of the police well before he does that he runs across the first mate and the first mate and him defies a plan then he goes to the head of the police and tells him about the letter tells him about all the other things that he wants fixed and basically they do a trade-off um so Edmund gets sent to jail, but this is a jail that um, you'll never come out of, even if you're innocent. Yeah, so gets sent to the jail, and these guys, that jail whips their prisoners. On the anniversary of when they showed up. Yeah, and this is when Richard Harris's character comes into play, because he's trying to escape. And he's supposed to have been there for quite a while. Yeah, so <laughs> things happen while they're there. Uh... Richard Harris's character is named Priest, though so that's what... He Ed, was a priest. That's what Edmund calls him, too. Mm-hmm. So, But he teaches Edmund, he teaches him how to sword fight, basically become, teaches him to be a gentleman. Mm-hmm. And he teaches him, like, math and ethics. Yeah, teaching him to be a gentleman. What a gentleman would have learned at a young age, he learned at this age. And at the same time, they're helping each other. He's helping him dig out the tunnel to get out. And he's in, in, he's, Edmund is helping him dig out. And then the priest is basically helping him teach him how to sword fight, education, all that fun stuff. And the only reason why the priest is there Mm -hmm. is because he would not disclose where some treasure is. Which you find out he knew about it. Because, unfortunately, an accident happens. The priest almost dies. 
And so he gives Edmund the information and then he passes away. And so at this moment, Edmund is given a chance to escape because they put the priest in a body bag, basically. And they're not, they don't know who they're taking. So he changes his body into the bag and the priest is back in his cell. And uh, before they're able to get the information that like they find out that he's a, they the switcheroo but before they were able to let the head guy know edmund had already grabbed the keys that he had on his side and they fell over over yeah, the water and they're on an island two miles away from the coast yeah and so i don't want to give them too much yeah <laughs> so stuff happens he meets up with a band of pirates he's able to not be killed by them and also the other person that they were trying to kill at the same time was spared. And then... They band together. Yeah. So some time passes. And I don't want to give you the rest of the movie. Well, we can give you this part. He does go to the island. Well, the island is Council Monte Cristo. The island of, of Crystal, I think. Um, so he takes the name of it. Um, and then things happen... And he becomes very rich, he plots his revenge, and gets his girl back. Well, his revenge was almost his downfall. Yeah, but he gets his girl back, and he finds out he has a son. Yep. Because of the busyness they did. (laughs) But it's a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it, because it is an awesome, awesome movie. I don't think there's anything else to say, and I think this is the longest video we've ever done. One of the longest, yeah, but uh, we could say more about the movie. But, I mean, why should we go experience yourself? And if you have watched it, go watch it again. That's that good. Um, Let us know your favorite part of the movie. Yeah. Uh, or just like us and subscribe. <laughs> we'll tell you more about any other movie that we're watching. Um, and we will keep going until we die. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> until we run out of movies. That might happen. (laughs) All right. Well, I think that's it. I think so, too. All right. Bye. Bye.